when we convert a fraction into a decimal, we're hoping that the fraction just has some power of 10 in the denominator because that makes it a lot easier to convert into a decimal. And thankfully, in this question, that's exactly what we have. We have 1,000 to the power of 4. That's like 10 cubed to the power of 4, so 10 to the power of 12. Now, if the numerator was a single digit, then we'd have 11 zeros in between the decimal point and the first non-zero digit. Why did I say that? How do I know that? Well, I'm just working through a pattern in my head where if it was just, say, 3 over 10, that would convert into 0 0.3. So there are no zeros at all between the decimal point and the first non-zero digit. If it was 3 over 100, that would be 0 0.03. So with 100, or 10 squared in the denominator, we have a single zero between the decimal point and the first non-zero digit. And we can keep going and see that there is a pattern, right? If it was 3 over 10 cubed, or 3 over 1,000, that would be 0 0.003. So there you have two zeros. So it's always one fewer zero than the exponent on top of the 10 in the denominator. So if it was a single digit in the numerator with 10 to the power of 12 in the denominator, you'd have exactly 11 zeros between the decimal point and the first non-zero digit. Now they're telling us that at most there are seven zeros, right? Fewer than eight zeros, so seven zeros at most between the decimal point and the first non-zero digit. So what does that tell me about the numerator? If the numerator was a single digit, I know there would be 11. So if the numerator was two digits, there would be 10. If it was three digits, there would be nine. If it was four digits, there would be eight. So I would need five digits in the numerator in order to make it at most seven. I need at least five digits in the numerator to make the information that was provided true. And we know that there are fewer than eight zeros. Now I made the inference that this means we have to have at least five digits in the numerator. Now looking at the answer choices, I'm going to have to do a bit of math there if I don't have these memorized. I actually do think we should have the first two memorized. So 3 to the power of 4 is 81, 5 to the power of 4 is 625. Neither of those is 5 digits or longer. Now the last one, 9 to the power of 4, that would be like 81 squared. Is 81 squared going to be a 5-digit number or is it going to be a 4-digit number? Well, I know that 80 squared is like 8 squared times 10 squared, so 6,400. And 81 squared will just be slightly more than that. So we're still not quite in the five digits, and therefore I'm going to go ahead and pick answer choice A, which claims that none of these Roman numerals is possible. And we move on to the next question. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.